seem to take light bulbs for granted. Little did they know that in the past, people used to work by candlelight. But then you have to worry about the wax burning out your candle. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have light bulbs now, isn't it? Here is a timeline of the light bulb that we will be using in this presentation today. As you can see, we will start from the candle and the oil lamp and finish with the compact fluorescent lights and the LED lights at the bottom. Now you're probably wondering, who exactly invented the light bulb? Well, it is credited to Thomas Edison. But that's a little unfair to say that only Thomas Edison did all the work. Because there are 11 other people that had a hand in trying to make this light bulb right here. This is Alessandro Volta. He was the first to attempt making a light bulb. At around 1800, this Italian inventor was also the first to produce a method of generating electricity with, with his invention, the Voltaic Pile. This machine was made from discs of zinc and silver, which were separated by cardboard wetted with salt water. The diagram shows you what it would look like. The Voltaic Pile, however, was not created as intended. In fact, it became the first primitive battery. Humphrey Davy was the one to use the Voltaic Pile as a battery for his new source of light. He put two carbon rods on each side of the Voltaic Pile in order to generate the electricity from one carbon rod to the other. This was a success in 1802, and it was given the, the name the Electric Arc Lamp. Warren De La Rue and Joseph Swan were the next two inventors that helped in the light bulb's development, despite their slight failures in experimentation. In 1840, De La Rue used coiled platinum instead of coiled copper and created a better light source than, than any of the other light bulbs in the past. The only problem with using this platinum filament was that it was very costly to make so the British scientist had to let his experiment fall through. Ten years later, in 1850, Joseph Swan, taking note of Delarue's misfortunes, he used a carbonized paper filament instead of a platinum filament. But he also added a vacuum tube to minimize oxygen exposure. Sadly, this was a failure as well, due to the fact the vacuum tube wasn't as good as they are nowadays. The last two people to experiment with the light bulb before Edison were Canadian inventors Matthew Evans and Henry Woodward in 1874. They created an electric lamp with different sized carbon rods and a glass cylinder filled with nitrogen. However, the expenses began to become too high for the two and they had to halt their experiments. Eventually, they ended up signing over their idea to Edison. And now we've reached Thomas Edison, the one credited for making the first efficient light bulb. It took him a few tries to find that right filament, about 3,000 tries, but he found one and that was a carbon-based filament that he patented his new light bulb with. But he didn't stop there. He tried about 6,000 more filaments just to try to find one that would create even more light for a longer time. Well, his efforts did pay off in 1879. He made a bamboo filament that produced up to 1200 hours worth of light. That was fantastic during this time considering the past light bulbs lasted only a few hours. But they still weren't done with the light bulb. In 1910, William David Coolidge, who was working with Thomas Edison, advanced the light bulb's development by creating a tungsten filament, which proved even better than the bamboo filament. In fact, tungsten is still used today to make light bulbs. Pretty cool, huh? 
Yet we still weren't done, because in the 1900s, Peter Cooper Hewitt decided to experiment with mercury vapor in light bulbs, and he discovered he could create blue-green light with that. Then, in 1962, Nick Hollenack, Jr., created a visible spectrum LED light source out of red diodes, then yellow, then green, then blue. It's always fun with colors, right? And last on our list of people is Edward E. Hammer, who added a twist to the light bulb and created the first compact fluorescent light, or the CFL. The experimentations these three men made led up to the four different types of light bulbs that we see today, which are seen in the picture above. Now the significance of a light bulb is very important because, one, we probably wouldn't have these right now, or at least not ones like these. Dang, I can't see my homework. I wish I had some light right now. Yay! I can do my homework now! Hey look, there's my friend! Going to her night shift job at Walmart. If we didn't have light bulbs, she wouldn't have to do that! Isn't it swell to have light bulbs? Yay. I just love watching my 600 pound life. If we didn't already learn how to generate electricity through light bulbs, then we wouldn't have TV. Or this fan. Or that fan. It's only a few scenarios, because you can also see light bulb use in your car, in your microwave, in stove and oven, and in the projector screens that you see today in schools, or even on the computer you're using right now to view this content, because the light bulb was the first to show us that we could generate energy to assist us today in making new inventions and technologies. Let's recap, shall we? Around 1800, Alessandro Volta made the voltaic pile. In 1802, Humphrey Davy added two carbon rods to that voltaic pile. In 1840, Warren de la Rue made a platinum filament, which is very expensive. In 1850, Joseph Swan made an insufficient vacuum bulb. In 1874, Henry Woodward and Matthew Evans made a glass cylinder filled with nitrogen. In 1878 to 1880, Edison and Team improved said bulb. And this is around 1878 when the first bulb was made. In 1910, William Coolidge made the tungsten filament which is used today in bulbs. In the 1900s, Peter Cooper Hewitt made mercury vapor which caused a blue-green light. In 1962, Nick Kolignac Jr. made a visible spectrum LED light with red, yellow, green, and blue LED lights. In 1976, Edward E. Hammer made a compact fluorescent light. Now, so the material that's made for a light bulb would be glass, the gas inside it, and then the tungsten wires that create the filament. So the significance of the bulb, first of all, it helps spur the creation of the battery, it increased productivity. It provided light in the night to provide protection, or at least safety for the people. It allowed the people to work longer, increasing productivity. It also helped to study for finals, but I add that in there. <laughs> and then lastly, last two, it provided new means of unlimited power, and then it spawned new innovations to be created. I hope you learned a lot in this session today.